Months after Pope Benedict XVI's November trip to the African nation of Benin, the first fruits of the visit are beginning to be collected. The church has begun to act. There are already changes, although it may be too soon to say it. We are very enthusiastic about committing ourselves to changing the situation. It must be changed. We must live in solidarity so that the corruption and everything that causes poverty to increase be stopped. Here at Rome's Pontifical Lateran University, these folks participated in a May seminar to discuss how the Pope's guidance, collected in a document called Africa Munos, might be employed. In Africa Munos, Pope Benedict XVI called the continent to reconciliation and peace. There was much hope to be seen, though a dark cloud was cast over the axe by the Islamist bombing of Christian worshippers in Kenya and Nigeria just days earlier. Siamo in un momento drammatico, anzi tragico. It is a tragic moment. It's a dramatic one for the presence of Christianity in Africa. These most recent events, these killings, tell us that we are experiencing a time of persecution for Christians in some regions of Africa. It seems to me that this is a confirmation of the importance of what we're doing at this university, in which we are trying to dedicate our energy to put ourselves in service to Africa. Why? We consider that Africa is really what the Pope said, the continent of hope. Catholics in Africa are persecuted a bit by our Muslim brothers. It is a truly poor situation that we are living. But we hope that little by little, Christians will give more testimony of peace and justice. Those who put Catholics to the test with these bombings, I don't know what they were looking for exactly. But anyway, we are telling them that we in Africa can be of one family, Christians, Muslims, and those of the traditional religions, together in peace. This ideology of killing the sons of God to please God doesn't make any sense. It's not proper of the culture of Africa. Despite setbacks, Africa is now being looked at from Rome as the continent of hope in the Catholic Church. The future for me is splendid in the auspices of the text given to us by Benedict XVI, that the Church in Africa is the lung of humanity, a source of hope for everyone. It is a prophetic vision of our future that encourages us to clarify the challenges that we need to face. Thank you.